You know, sin is our big problem. All fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned. Are none righteous? No, not one. In Isaiah chapter 59, the Lord says, It's not my hand that's too short that it can't save. It's that your sin has separated you from me. The Lord says if we regard or hold on to or allow sin in our heart, he won't hear us. Sin is an impediment in prayer. If we regard iniquity in our heart, the Lord will not hear us. He'll hear the prayer of repentance. He'll hear the prayer of asking his forgiveness. But we won't progress beyond that unless we've been born again. And the way that we're born again is we understand, yes, I am a sinner, Lord. I have offended you with sin. Sin offends the Lord, not merely because it's our disobedience and a transgression of a known law. That's not just that. God is offended by sin because sin causes all the pain, all the suffering, all the bad and dark things we see in this world. Sin was not God's plan from the beginning. Sin is something man has brought into our existence. But sin needs to be dealt with. And the Lord could have just scrapped us and started over, but he didn't. He made a plan of redemption. The Bible says the wages or the consequence of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Why is that? Why is it when we ask God to forgive us based on faith in Jesus that he will forgive us and that he will indwell us with the Holy Spirit and will fill us to overflowing with his Holy Spirit, give us spiritual life? Why is that? Because Jesus paid our death penalty on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for you and for me so that now God has a just basis to forgive us. He doesn't just forget or cast sin aside and say, oh, don't worry about it. No, that sin is forgiven because it has been paid for. The debt, the penalty has been paid for by Jesus on the cross. And when we trust him as Savior, the Lord enacts a holy transaction. Our sin goes on him and his righteousness goes on us. God forgives us and then he wipes out our sin casts it behind his back, throws it into a sea of forgetfulness and gives us a fresh start in Christ. The Holy Spirit indwells us to give us spiritual life. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him, do you want the Holy Spirit today? Do you want spiritual life today? Have you been struggling with life? Are you kind of lost? You have a curiosity or an interest in these things, but you're just lost. When you read the Bible, you don't understand. You know, the Bible says you need the Spirit to help you understand. You need the Holy Spirit to give you life, living water, torrents of living water, the Bible talks about. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Have you been born again? If you've not been born again, you're not getting into heaven. Your sin must be dealt with. Sin always spreads. It's always malignant. God is not going to allow that into heaven. It must be dealt with. It's dealt with through faith in Jesus Christ. We confess our sin. We forsake our sin by faith in Jesus Christ. He forgives our sin and he fills us with his Holy Spirit. That's something that you'd want to do today? I suggest you pray about it and ask him to help you. Ask him to speak to your heart. The Lord says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Call on the name of the Lord in prayer. When we draw near to him, he draws near to us.